What up, what up, YouTube? This your boy DIY Trucker J. DIY Trucker J, aka J Quillo Talk Live. We got something different here to do. I'm gonna show y'all something just to get you out of a lot of trouble as far as troubleshooting. You ever had this problem in your truck where it's though your windshield white spray ain't working anymore? No Most of the time, you, you, you might want to check your holes and replace the small little holes, but nine times out of ten, it's the motor sprayer. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that is, all right? So make sure you like, share, subscribe, the like button. We all be doing something. All right. Get it. Nine, time, nine times out of ten is this. See what happened when this right here goes bad, it start leaking inside here. All right. Let's focus a little bit. So the problem was, I thought that by cutting the holes and um, cleaning all this up, I thought this was missing a piece. I'm like, oh man, it's missing a piece. I thought it was damaged, but I ended up buying a new one and the leak is coming from out of here. Out of here, right? So if you're doing this, this terminal, this your positive here, and this your negative. This your positive, and this your negative. This where the holes go. So this pretty much still works, but it's leaking out of here. So I figured, figured pretty much there's a gasket in here. So we'll take this apart later right they take these off so if you want you can actually take these off get the screws that fixed there should be a gasket inside of here change the gasket and it's done so that's what i'm gonna do later but now i want to do this the part number right that's the part number right there pt4695001 but see the thing is this where it's made in the u.s the thing is this i bought it's a pack art part it's going for pack art now it's the trick when you buy this, it don't it does not come with this wire. Alright? So it doesn't come with the wire. I'm gonna take it off. What it comes with is just clip here. It comes with two connectors inside of here. And it comes with these little plastic things that you gotta stick in there, I guess, for the installation for the rubber. So this wire right here came off one of my LED sets for the headlights. Alright, so that's where I got the wire from, but you gotta buy this separate. This little piece gonna be $73. Then the little clips that's in here, this piece, everything, about damn near hundred dollars for everything. All right. So the same thing is that. So that's why I thought it was um I thought it was missing a piece here because it got holes in it. it. Was actually the same exact part. See, the same exact part, the same exact thing. But now there's a difference here because my truck is a '99. They don't make this style anymore. You see the difference? You see right there where the plug's at? Let me see right here where this plug at. All right, so now you got two pins in here. There's pins in here, and there's no pins here. But this is your positive, this is your negative. On this one, your positive pin here, your negative over here. All right, so let's go ahead and get this in the truck, and let's just see how we install this. So now we go ahead and install this real quick. Like I said, I painted this right here, but I'm going to go home and take it apart and then put little screws in there and see what's in here. All right, let's get it. All right, YouTube. Now, this video right here, I'm not going to put on time lapse because I want y'all to watch the whole thing. So I need to grease it up, but here you go right here. So now we're going to mix it. Your black wire go here and your red wire go here. All right, so being that it's like this, I was gonna cut it, but I don't need to. All I gotta do is slide these pins up in there and hit it with some um, some black electrical tape and that'll hold it. Just in case I gotta change it again, all right? So that's it right there. So what we're gonna do is sit the, sit the foam over here so we get the, get the quick little video and get you out of trouble. So also inside this package, it comes with an O-ring. So it's O-ring right here. So it's pretty much what you wanna do to take it out. Should have an O-ring in here. Right here. There you go. That's the old one. Uh, see, it's leaking out though. I'm gonna put the new one in there. Just so it can fit snub tight. Because right now, the, the hole is a little too big. So we're gonna stick it in here, like so. It's leaking antifreeze. Uh, power's not antifreeze, but um, we should wipe the floor. That goes there. Make sure you test your wires before you start plugging things up because you don't want to burn nothing out because most of the time, if it lets you part, they're going to take it back. All right, so we're pretty much going to 
go ahead and put, we're gonna stick this wire in here. Like I said, I can just put duct, hit it with some black tape. You're gonna stick this red one here. And then what you do with this is, you just plug it here, like so. All right, so you just put it, put it right here. Stick it all the way on. And bam, that's pretty much about it. And we're gonna tape that up pretty good, but flip this upside down. It's not a hard thing to do. We all go through this. And just stick it in the hole there. That's it. All right, so we're gonna pop that. Put some fluid in there. All right, so we're gonna let y'all see where the fluid's going real quick. All right. Like I said, it's a quick, simple video. It's not nothing hard. You people to do it yourself. See, because what it is, you need this working because DOT, when they pull you over, DOT will ask you. DOT will definitely ask you. Sprayers, they ask you to put your wipers on. You put the wipers on. They ask you fluid. You hit that button. There's no fluid coming out. They get a ticket for that. They will definitely give you a ticket for that. All right? So, you got to make sure you get pulled by DOT. You have fluid in here. And that, this right here, is working. Because if not, they would definitely get a ticket for that. They would definitely get a ticket for that. All right, so let's see if it's working. All right, key on. Put it here. Nice. Turn the wipers on. There you go. It's working. It's working. That's all I need. All right. Let me shut it down. Turn the truck off. That's it. That's what we done here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the video. Make sure you share this video. Share this video with all your truckers, especially your own operators. You know, company drivers, yes, but owner operators, if you know anybody out there that, that own a truck like myself, that maintenance or take care, pretty much 90% of everything on the truck, send this video, like, share, and subscribe, and just share the video out there. That's all I'm asking. And make sure you hit the like button, all right? This is your boy DIY Trucker, aka Pull Talk Loud. We got y'all later. Peace. One love.